Welcome, thank you for joining us. Today, we are at 2001 Dry Creek Road in Willow Glen, San Jose, a very well-established community. This is a single story, 1,931 square feet home that has three bedrooms and two bathrooms, and it sits on a large corner lot of almost half an acre. While we walk you through the home, we're gonna be live in the comments, so please ask us your questions and we'll be able to answer. So we hope you enjoy the tour and let's start. So here we are, this is 2001 Dry Creek Road. You can see it's a large corner lot that is Dry Creek Road and this is Campbell Avenue. It sits on a almost half an acre lot as I mentioned before, lots of areas, very nice front yard. And I'm gonna show you the inside of the home. As you come in, you will see the formal entry with a foyer. And to the right, we'll see this is the living room, a formal living room very good size, nice area, exposed beam in the ceiling, lots of light, floor to ceiling, wood burning, fireplace, very, very nice area. And on the other side of the foyer, the entrance foyer, is the formal dining area, very large size as well, accommodates a large table for your festivities, your celebrations. And here you see the arch that is taking us to the family room. Now, what is fantastic about this house is that the family room that also has a double door to the backyard is an incredible size. It is a very, very large family room where you can have even different areas to relax as we show you here. It is almost a great room, or you could call it a great room, right? This door right here takes you to a bathroom, so you have easy access from the family room. And if we come back and we go through the living room, there is the hallway that will connect us to the bedrooms. As we come in, on the left, we're going to see the first bedroom, very good size. Again, this is a large home, 1,931 square feet, lots of light in the bedroom, hardwood floors throughout. There is a nice size closet, and this is the bathroom it's a full bathroom connected to the bedroom and this is the door that leads to the family room as we come back in I'm gonna show you the closet closet very nice size large closet and as we come out of one of the bedrooms, we'll go to the next one. To the right, another very good sized bedroom, hardwood floors again throughout, double pane windows throughout the house, lots of light, very quiet. You cannot hear the street noise here. There's a nice closet nice size it goes all the way inside you can see as we keep moving along we're going to encounter the second bathroom in the hallway nice size counter again lots of light and a very nice size bathtub with jets for a nice relaxing bath and in the hallway there's two closets 
for extra storage. And finally, the third bedroom, again, very, very good size, large bedroom, lots of light, and a very nice size closet. Now, if we move along to the other side of the house, you will remember that when we came in, we came in and we had the living room on one side, the family great room is in the front, and then to the left, we have the dining room, the formal dining area. As we move along this way, you will see that there is another dining area, let's call it the informal dining area that is right next to the kitchen for your everyday meals and this is the kitchen very nice size all appliances included lots of light as well hardwood floors as I mentioned throughout the house on the side of the kitchen it leads you to the laundry room this is the laundry room with cabinets obviously the appliances and there's an entrance right here that communicates with the family room and this is a very cool area from the laundry room you have a another area which is a let's call it a breezeway uh, it could be a mud room if you want it and it communicates the kitchen and the laundry room with the garage it has a, a you know traditional stove and it has an independent entrance so you could use this entrance for when you're coming back with the groceries and things like that and from here we access the two car garage you can see there's space for two cars let me get in so i show you the entire space so there's a lot of space a lot of accesses and there's an extra storage room right here with an entrance as well we're not done <laughs> there's a still more for this house so from the breeze room you can have an access to the backyard right and there is a nice area here where you can have like a hammock or um, some resting area now if we go back through the laundry room let's access the family room and from here I wanted to take you to the backyard so we're gonna open these doors and this is where we're gonna come out as I told you this house sits on a very large lot it is almost half an acre and that gives you so many possibilities you have a nice um, concrete area right here to have some tables and uh, some outdoor furniture there's another similar area moving along the side of the house you can see there's a nice outdoor sofa to relax as well also concrete padded there's a shed for extra storage at the side of the house and you can appreciate the size of the lot how large it is and all the possibilities here you could create an outdoor kitchen you could have a playground for the kids you could have a pool if you wanted different relaxing areas there's many many possibilities and what you can see here is um, a walk through gate that connects from the outside of the garage and then on this side there is let me show you another gate communicating the house to Dry Creek Road. So you can see 
the full backyard. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed the tour. If you have any extra questions or if you want to arrange a private showing, please don't hesitate to call us. We will be more than happy to arrange that for you. For now, just have a wonderful day and until next time.